he popularized the essay as a literary genre. He merged casual anecdotes and autobiography with intellectual insight. His name is Michel de Montaigne. In the bustling streets of 16th century France, a man named Michel de Montaigne emerged as a prominent figure. Though initially admired more for his statesmanship than his literary prowess, Montaigne would later become one of the most significant philosophers of the French Renaissance. However, his unique approach to writing was not always well received by his contemporaries. Montaigne's essays were characterized by a tendency to digress into anecdotes and personal ruminations, a style that was viewed as detrimental to proper literary form. His declaration that I am myself the matter of my book was met with skepticism, seen as nothing more than self-indulgence. But Montaigne's writings would stand the test of time, as they embodied the spirit of freely entertaining doubt that began to emerge in the intellectual landscape. It was through his essays that Montaigne popularized the literary genre, merging casual anecdotes and autobiography with profound intellectual insight. His work would go on to have a direct influence on countless Western writers, making him a figure of enduring importance. Montaigne's skeptical remark, Case KJE, or, What Do I Know, became his most famous legacy, encapsulating his philosophical outlook and the essence of his thought-provoking essays. Despite initial criticism, Montaigne's writings would ultimately be recognized as a testament to the power of doubt and introspection, shaping the intellectual landscape for centuries to come. My life will recur in exactly identical fashion, Michel de Montaigne once proclaimed. Born into a wealthy family in the Aquitaine region of France, Montaigne grew up on the family estate known as Chateau de Montaigne. His father, Pierre Equam, was a French Catholic soldier and the mayor of Bordeaux. His mother, Antoinette Lopez de Villanueva, came from a converted Protestant family with Murano origins. Montaigne's education began at an early age, following a pedagogical plan devised by his father and his father's humanist friends. For the first three years of his life, Montaigne lived with a peasant family to connect with the people and their life conditions. He was then brought back to the chateau, where his father ensured that Latin became his first language. Everyone in the household, including servants, spoke only in Latin to him. The atmosphere of Montaigne's upbringing fostered a spirit of liberty and delight. He relished his duties and responsibilities without feeling constrained. Music played a significant role in his daily life, with a musician waking him up each morning and an epinetier providing tunes to alleviate boredom. At the age of 13, Montaigne was sent to the prestigious College of Guienne in Bordeaux, where he studied under the renowned Latin scholar George Buchanan. He excelled in his studies, mastering the entire curriculum by the time he completed his education at the college in 1546. Montaigne then embarked on the study of law and entered a career in the local legal system. Montaigne's upbringing and education laid the foundation for his philosophical journey. His immersion in Latin and exposure to various intellectual and spiritual stimuli shaped his perspectives on life, liberty, and the pursuit of knowledge. These early experiences would later influence his renowned collection of essays, where he explored a wide range of topics with introspection and intellectual curiosity. Montaigne, a renowned philosopher and counselor, found solace in his writing after the loss of his dear friend Etienne de la Boetie. As Donald M. Frame noted, Montaigne's imperious need to communicate led him to embark on a new form of expression, where the reader would fill the void left by his departed friend. And so, Montaigne began his collection of essays, The Essays, as a means of sharing his thoughts and ideas with the world. During his time serving at the Bordeaux Parliament, Montaigne's friendship with La Boetie grew strong. However, tragedy struck when La Boetie passed away in 1563. This loss deeply affected Montaigne, prompting him to seek a new outlet for his thoughts and emotions. The Essays became a platform for Montaigne to communicate his innermost musings, as the reader took on the role of his departed friend, providing a listening ear and understanding. In 1565, Montaigne entered into an arranged marriage with Françoise de la Cassaigne. Born into a wealthy merchant family, Françoise became Montaigne's wife, and together they had six daughters. However, little is known about their marriage, as Montaigne wrote very little about his relationship with Françoise. He did mention his daughter Lyona, who managed to survive infancy. Montaigne expressed his joy at her survival, remarking on the indulgence of her mother and their gentle words of love and care. Montaigne's writings offer us a glimpse into his personal experiences and reflections on life. Through his essays, he explores various topics, sharing his thoughts on philosophy, morality, and human nature. His unique perspective challenges us to question our own beliefs and assumptions, encouraging us to embark on a journey of self-discovery and introspection. Montaigne's writings continue to resonate with readers today, reminding us of the power of communication and the importance of seeking understanding in our daily lives. Montaigne, a renowned philosopher of the Renaissance, 
found solace in the written word during a period of self-imposed isolation. After the passing of his father, he took on the task of translating the work of Catalan monk Raymond Sebend, which he published in 1568. This endeavor marked the beginning of his literary journey and set the stage for his later masterpiece, The Essays. In 1570, Montaigne returned to his family's estate, the Chateau de Montaigne, where he assumed the title of Lord. Seeking solitude and introspection, he retreated to the tower of the chateau, his citadel, as he called it, nestled in the tranquil Dordogne countryside. Within the confines of his library, adorned with a collection of over 1,500 books, Montaigne embarked on a profound exploration of his own thoughts and experiences. As Montaigne celebrated his 38th birthday and entered a decade of seclusion, he inscribed a powerful declaration on the crown of the bookshelves in his working chamber, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion. This statement captures his belief in the cyclical nature of existence and the interconnectedness of past, present, and future. It reflects his commitment to understanding himself and the world around him through introspection and self-reflection. Through his writings, particularly the essays, Montaigne offers invaluable insights into the human condition and the complexities of life. He delves into a wide range of topics, from morality and politics to love and friendship. Montaigne's philosophy encourages us to embrace our individuality, question conventional wisdom, and seek a deeper understanding of ourselves. By exploring our own thoughts and experiences, we can navigate the challenges of daily life and find meaning in our existence. Montaigne's legacy as a philosopher and essayist endures to this day. His writings serve as a guide for those seeking wisdom and self-discovery. As we face the uncertainties of the modern world, Montaigne's philosophy reminds us to look inward, to explore our own thoughts and beliefs, and to find solace and meaning in the journey of self-exploration. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.